Here we are on the White Pine Summer Road. We've been getting collapsing and cracking on the way in. We're up here in Ogden, near the Monte Cristo area. Same story, different place. We have snow from just before Christmas and from Christmas Eve right here under it. We have this weak, sugary snow that can't support the load. We're seeing avalanches, the snow is unstable, avoid all steep slopes. Been ski patrolling for 35 seasons, and uh, if I went in the backcountry right now, I'd be sticking to low angle terrain. Hey, Craig Gordon here again. We see this large, remotely triggered slide that's over a meter deep and about 500 feet wide. All of this snow is resting on this junk in the trunk, this very weak sugary snow. This slide breaking close to the ground are the deadly kinds of avalanches we're dealing with. You can see we just have this beautiful powder snow sitting right on our the top of our snowpack. This was the, sto the Christmas storm here, but just underneath it is what's really scary and dangerous, is this layer right here. And I mean, it is just loose and faceted, super weak snow. Anytime that you put strong, cohesive snow on top of loose, sugary, faceted snow, it's the perfect recipe for slab avalanches. And those are the types of avalanches that are really deadly to riders. So the avalanche danger for the next few days is definitely going to remain sketchy across northern Utah. So be sure to check in, get the full forecast, utahavalanchecenter.org.